Thank you for tuning in to Upon the Rock broadcast. I'm your host, Pastor Lawrence Shakir. I believe the Word of God will build a godly foundation in the lives of people. There is more available information on our website. You can log on to ShakirMinistries.org. Now, let's go into today's message. Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast. I would like to talk to you all about certain results of how we receive when God gives us deals uh, or gives us things. Why is it that we get uh, a good significant breakthrough in one area and, and sometimes we don't? Why is it that you know God has moved with us in certain parts of our lives but it's, it's not in other parts of our life? And so I want to be able to kind of just help you out just a little bit when it comes to that and just give you some some clarity from the Bible so that we can all be on that same page. The Bible talks about in Mark chapter 4 verse 4 he says um, a farmer went out to sow his seed as he scattered it across his field some feet some seed fell upon the footpath the birds came and ate it verse 5 other seeds fell on shallow soil underlying rock the seed sprouted quickly because it had uh, because the soil was shallow verse 6 uh, but the plant soon withered under the sun and since it did not have deep roots it died other seeds fell on thorns that grew up and choked out the, the tender plants and so it produced no grain still other seeds fell on fertile soil and they sprouted grew and, and produced crops that was 30 60 and even a hundred times as much as planted then he says Anyone who has ears to hear, let him listen and let him understand. Anyone who has ears to hear, let him let him hear. He's not just talking about the words that you just hear that you you know you, you oh yeah I heard what he said no the words that I said make sure you go into understanding it because this is a principle that uh, applies to a lot of areas in our life. Um, it's the parable of the, the you know the four soils. And I know most likely this is a pretty famous parable, and most people kind of define it as four types of people. And yeah, you can probably see it that way, but I want to kind of go in, in details of, of keeping it on one person, and it's four stages. It could be four stages of how you uh, receive certain things, or four different results of how you receive things. And so listen what Jesus said. He said when the farmer goes out to sow the seed, that's that's when the farmer they'll take this big bag and put it on their on their back and they'll just kind of just grab the seeds and just kind of throw it and, and you know just kind of throw it. And a lot of times uh, you just can't just throw seeds without some of them falling to the ground or some of them landing on places where you and you did not intend for it to go. But for the most part you aim at a certain place and throw it there and some of them make it, some don't. Okay, obviously where it landed on the soil that you were trying to get, that will produce the 30, the 60, and the 100. But why 30, why 60, why 100? Well, it depends on how much seed it was that, that landed in that spot. If it's a little bit of seed that landed here, then that's probably where the 30-fold 30, 30 is, 60 and likewise. And then majority of the seeds land there, you, that's where the 100-fold comes from. But it all depends on how much seed is is planted in that particular soil. Okay, uh, you can go into a lot of details on that because a lot of times we don't get results on what we want. It's only because it's not it's not that our soil was 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 bad. We didn't get enough seed on that to get the, the type of harvest that that we need. And that can apply to any area when it comes to health, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to uh, you know anything it de it depends on how much seed what in the Bible talks about that the Bible is the incorruptible seed okay but Jesus says he who hears let him you know let him listen let him hear uh, look at what he says in, in the next verse later when the disciples were alone with the twelve uh, and with uh, with the others who were gathered around he asked the parable they asked what the parable meant he replied it's permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom but I use parables for everything I say to outsiders. In other words, I use parables because some people, they don't really want to understand. They want to say that I, I got a word from God, but they don't want to really do the grunt work, what it takes to uh, 
really get that word active in their lives. What I mean by that is some people don't mind reading the Bible or going to church, but they really don't let it get inside of them. They don't participate or they really don't take it seriously. And uh, that could be categorized as, you know, that the first C. Well, look what he says when he said, um, in verse, I'm, I'm skipping around, forgive me, but I'm going to just go to verse 13. He says, if you can't understand the meaning of the parables, how will you understand other parables? Verse 14, the, far, the farmer plants seeds by taking God's word into others. The seeds that fell into the, the seeds that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message uh, only to have Satan to come at once and take it away. So this can be categorized as if you go to you go to you know a religious institution or you hear the word of God or you listen to a broadcast and you're really not trying to pay attention you're just kind of just clocking in work and you're just doing other things and you're not letting the word get in you well the bible says that satan will take away the word that you don't understand that's what is very 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 important that whenever somebody's uh teaching the word or explaining the word that you have ears to hear and the bible talks about in all of your getting make sure you get an understanding because Satan is always trying to make sure that you don't understand God, that you don't understand this word. And so he'll do whatever possible, whether you go to sleep, whether um, your, 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 your favorite TV show is on or a favorite music is on, whatever he can do to make sure that you don't understand it. Because if you understand it, it will begin to change your life. And so he says that this seed represents those people who really not really paying attention. Let me break it down. Uh, it represents the person's stage of life where they're really not into this yet. You know, you can be at the point where uh, when you first began, it wasn't that it wasn't that serious to you. You probably listened to the Bible, listened to a preacher only because your mother made you do it, but you didn't understand it, and that's that's one of the reasons why. Uh, you know, some of the fruit is not as active in your life, not because you're a bad person, but because you haven't really took time to let that seed digest and, and develop in your own life. OK. And so God uh, wants us to make sure that whatever he's trying to give to us, you take it and you really receive it because he said immediately the birds came and ate up the seed. And so uh, it, it's talking about, again, he says, those who hear the word and don't understand it, and Satan comes immediately and takes it away from them. He only takes away the word that you don't understand. Um, I personally try to make it very um, practical so people can understand it because you don't want to make this, this word uh, boring and bore somebody to tears and, and just teach all over their head. We have to make it so that people can understand. And for those of you that, that are probably in a position uh, similar to mine, we have an obligation to make sure that when we go in and, and, and talk about the Word of God and preach or teach the Word of God, that, that we're making it to the point where people can easily understand it and not, not wasting uh, other people's time, okay? Uh, so going back, because I did want to say that just for a moment, but going back to verse 11, uh, he, he describes how Isaiah uh, views the people. He says, in seeing, when they see what I do, they will learn nothing. They will hear what I say, but will not understand. Otherwise, they will turn to me and be forgiven. And so that's why some people like to clock in time with God just to say, I've done my part. And God says, okay, I'll let you have that, but you will not get the results that you're looking for. Sadly, people get offended at God when things don't happen the way uh, it's supposed, well, they think it's supposed to happen. Well, Lord, I, I've been going to church, or I've been giving in the offering, or I've been uh, singing in the choir, or I've been you know, participating in um, the sound ministry. I've been doing this, and but it, it's one of those things where is your heart really in it because God looks at our hearts before we do anything else and so we can be clocking in time and getting our gold star but if it doesn't mean anything to you it doesn't mean anything to God 
And so without us knowing, we may be that seed that's on the path where you're just going down the path, just doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're really not thinking about it, but you're, you're on the path. But the birds are eating the seed uh, and, and it's not getting any fruit because um, you're exposed. And you're, you're, what I mean by exposed is that you're not to a point where it's, you're, you're covered significantly so that you can, so you can grow and mature. And so you're just, you're there, thank God you're there, but you're not effective. And so that's why the, the, the birds eat up the word real quick because uh, it's always the word that you don't understand. If it's a word that you do understand, you will begin to hold on to it. Okay, so that is one of the seeds that's on the, the, uh, the footpath. And so we got to make sure that we as an individual are not just on the path, but we're actually making progress. Okay, then let's go to the um, verse 16. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have any roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. You can get born again. You can be on fire because of what you've learned and be excited. But because the roots, you have no real strong foundation. When any type of, because anytime you uh, learn something from God or do something or, or God has made an impression on your life, Satan will, win, uh, will bring in whirlwinds and he will try to make sure he will can, can distract you. And for those people, sadly, who don't have enough root in a certain area, they're easily blown away or it's easily not, not developed right because it sprang up quickly, but you, you don't have any foundation, you don't have any roots, and so you don't last. That's how you get people who they were, they got born again and they're they're on fire. They were so excited, and then you turn around a few months later, and it's like where they at? Or it could be you, where you have this uh, an amazing revelation in a certain area, and you're you're ready to go forward on this and and do what God calls you to do. And then a few months later, it's like that fire has went out of your sail, and it's like why is that? How how come I can't stick and stay with some of the things that uh, that that you know, God is obviously placed in my life. It's foundational building. Sometimes we need to just take time just to develop roots. And then if you have roots mixed with that fruit together, you can begin to last and then you can make, you know, more fruit. But most importantly, we need to make sure we have a strong foundation, a strong root system so that no matter what comes, we can still Continue to do what God calls us to do because the last thing you want to be is inconsistent. You don't want to start a project and then not finish it. It's all based on your roots. You have to learn how to be disciplined and develop roots, whether it's um, when it comes to you studying for college or high school or a certain job, you need to develop those study habits. Uh, ask God to help you with that, but you need to be, become familiar with certain things so that when you do start the new project, you won't be, you know, just blown away and, and you won't just be just somebody who just comes by and leaves, but you will be consistent. And so that's why God wants us to develop roots first so that by the time fruit comes, the fruit won't, you won't be easily blown away. Thank you for listening to Upon the Rock broadcast. If this message has been a blessing, you can help us spread the gospel by sharing this message with your friends. Also, if you're online, please be sure to contact me, either through our website at shakirministries.org or through social media. I would love to hear from you. Together, we can build a godly foundation in the lives of people. Until next time, please know that I'm praying for you, and I hope to see you on our next broadcast.